Hello, this is a Thunder update. Uh, I'm Anthony Slater. I'm here with Barry Trammell, and today we're talking about the NBA draft lottery. Tuesday is actually the start of the Western Conference Finals, a place the Thunder thought they would be this season. Uh, but, you know, the disaster that happened, they're actually in the lottery, which will take place right before game one. Uh, the Thunder have about a 1.8 or so percent chance to get either the first, second, or third pick. 98.2 percent chance that they'll be the 14th pick. You optimistic at all? that they could, you know, come out with a top three pick? Well, I mean, uh, you got better odds uh, than you do uh, buying a lot of lottery ticket, and a lot of people buy lottery tickets, but, uh, I mean, no, what Thunder fans need to just sort of uh, get it around, get, get their minds around being having the 14th pick, and then if, uh, you know, if uh, manna falls from heaven and you get uh, one of the top three picks, then you can throw a parade. But no reason to be disappointed because 98.2% odds is still fairly, uh, that's pretty high. But, but that's no fun right now. We still have one more day to talk about a potential of getting a you know, one, two, or three pick. Let's say you know, something crazy happens, like the Thunder not making the playoffs and everyone on their team getting injured. This would be something crazy happening. Who do you like in the one, two, three range for this team? I'm a Justice Winslow fan from Duke. I mean, he's, he's kind of considered a top five guy. That's who I, I'd like because I think they need a wing. I think they do need a wing, but I, I like D'Angelo Russell from Ohio yeah. State. Uh, I think he's a guy that can score and play defense, potentially, who knows. But uh, I'm not big on Winslow. He looks to me like a tweener. Looks like he'd have trouble guarding out on the wing. So um, I like D'Angelo Russell, but it's fun to at least think about yeah. it if you, if you get into that. And, of course, the Thunder might, if they get one of the top three, they might go big and tell Ennis Kanter, sorry, we'll just spend our money elsewhere. Yeah, that would be fascinating, and you know there is that. Kind Okafor of, and uh, Towns and all those who guys. Do you, who do you like, Okafor or Towns, out of the two? I like Okafor. Me too. So skilled. Um, but okay, now let's be a little bit more realistic. Let's say they get the 14th pick. There's a lot of different guys who can be in that range. Knowing how the Thunder draft, it might be a guy that's considered the 50th best prospect. But who do you like in that 14 range? Personally, Kelly Oubre from uh, Kansas is who I like. He may go a little bit earlier, 9, 10, 11. But if he drops. He's a very talented long wing that I think would fit perfectly. You know who I've seen fall into the 12, 13 range in, in mock drafts? It's Miles Turner of Texas, yeah. who I couldn't believe he was going to drop that much. Maybe he still will, but you're talking about a 6'11 shot blocker who's pretty skilled uh, with the ball. So if he became available, I mean, I think you, you'd take a, a runner at him. I also think it's possible yeah. that if Sam Presti really likes his roster, that he takes a flyer on an international guy. Uh, who might be available, and then if, <laughs> if, if it doesn't work out immediately coming over, they, 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 it's not like they got a bunch of roster spots anyway. They're going to have to create roster spots for this draft pick. It's true, but I mean, the, the draft pick next year is very likely to, they're going to give it away. I believe it's going to go to Philadelphia. Uh, so it would seem they should get a guy that's either going to be here next year or if you go international, a guy you know is going to come over. Because you look at Alex Abrinas, the guy they've spent a pick on, he just signed a, like a, a long-term deal in Barcelona. Looks like he's not going to be over here for a while. I think they go out and get a wing that can come in and maybe get minutes this year. Because I know this roster's loaded, but there's minutes to be had at the 2-3. Nobody's really a big believer in Kyle Singler. You know, Andre Robertson's kind of up in there. I think they're going to get an impact player in this draft. Well, I, I think it's going to be difficult. If you're drafting at 14, I think it's going to be difficult to draft a guy who makes the rotation uh, because uh, the Thunder, we'll see. We don't, we don't know Billy Donovan's yeah. uh, track record with young players. Scotty Brooks was mostly uh, hesitant to use young players. I think that was a point of contention. Uh, after he, after he uh, uh, had the baptism with all the young guys, Westbrook, Durant, Harden, Ibaka, by the time we got to about 2012, Scotty was saying, let's ride these guys, and was slow to play the young guys. I want to see what Billy Donovan does in that regard. Yeah, but injuries can also always force your hand in that sense, too, as we saw this year. Uh, but that'll do it for us here. The NBA Draft Lottery on ESPN tomorrow night, I believe, 7.30 Central Time. Thanks for having us.